Hi, I'm Pastor Steve. And welcome to the Pastor's Video Blog. We're glad that you're with us today, and I just want to just take a few moments of your time just to share with you uh, what this blog is all about. What we're doing right now is hopefully being able to catch uh, just a word of encouragement, maybe for those who were not able to join us this past Sunday at Destiny. So we're kind of capsulizing the uh, my sermon that I shared this past Sunday, and also we just want you to know if you were not able to make it this week, we missed you, and uh, we hope that you enjoyed this time. And uh, again, we're looking forward to seeing you this week. Want to share with you we've been talking about the last few weeks about the valley of Acar, uh, which is a door of hope and out of that we talked about dying we talked about dying to ourselves and yielding to the Lord you know the thing is that I want to share with you uh, we shared this past Sunday was about cleansing now sometimes when cleansing begins to happen God begins to take us to that new direction uh, begin to expose things in our lives it's not easy but you've got to understand one day I was uh, complaining to God which I, I know none of you do that but I did. One day I was complaining to God. I said, God, it's, it's so hard sometimes in this life. And I began to belly ache and then saying, God, what's going on? What are you trying to do? Uh, he spoke back to my heart and he said, you know, Steve, I'm preparing you for eternity. So I began to begin to get an eternal vision of what God was up to. So we shared out of John 15 verses 1 through 4, where Jesus said, my father is the husbandman. And then he looks and he says, and he prunes every branch that's bearing fruit. And I said, wait a minute, that doesn't make much sense. But he says, for what reason? To bear more fruit. And so then he says that you are cleansed through my word, which I've spoken to you. So the word pr pr uh, prune and cleansed literally is the same thing. So he has pruned you or cleansed you through his word. Then we went to uh, Psalms 51 where David had a time of, of repentance before God. And we honestly didn't even get halfway through it when we started talking about purity of our heart. It's not your clothes. Man, uh, the prophet Samuel got up here one day and he looked at David's brothers while he was pointing at king. Man, he's looking, this guy looks awesome. This guy's this and this guy's that. And, and God just rebuked the prophet and said, wait a minute, wait a minute. You see, men look on the outward appearance, but God looks on the heart. So God is saying to us today, I'm doing a heart change. I'm doing something new in your life to take away that stony heart, to cleanse us. Uh, we looked about several different things. Number one, we found in Psalms 51, this is a prayer of repentance. We looked there that David was praying in verses 1 through 17. He said, first, how do we begin to purify our hearts? How do we begin to, to agree with God and come into that place of cleansing? First thing we discovered is we need to go to God in prayer. We need to open ourselves up and say, have mercy on me, wash away my sins. But we have to unveil our hearts, meaning that we have to acknowledge and confess our sins. And when I begin to quit blaming everybody else for my problems, and I quit looking around and saying, oh, it's my mama's problem, my daddy's problem. Uh, no, it's my choices and my decisions that I have made. So today that we need to break our, uh, be broken and open our hearts up to God, quit blaming everybody else for our problems, and begin to say, God, take me. Forgive me of my sins. And we begin to confess our sins to God. And, and this is the word, literally, confession. I understand it means to we begin to say the same thing God says about it. So today, would you mind let me have just a, a quick prayer with you? Just to encourage you. Today, the, the heat, everybody wants to be a diamond, but nobody wants to stand in the heat or the pressure. Everybody wants to be used by God, but sometimes it's, it is difficult because God begins to expose and begins to take these things out so we can be more like Jesus. So today, Father, for these men and women today, all across even this world who views this video, I pray, God, that they be not discouraged in well-doing. If they sow to the Spirit, they're going to reap Spirit. And I pray, Father, right now for those things that you're bringing to their attention, just like David. You're the man. You are the one I'm talking about as Nathan approached him. I pray right now, God, that you would just humbly speak to us. We pray for your mercy. Cleanse us with your word. And I pray right now, Father, that as we come to you in prayer, I, I want to unveil my heart. And I want that purity. I unveil me, God. Not how I look on the outside, what people may see. But Lord, I want to, my insides, my heart, what do you see, God? So now, Lord, take us, make us, that we may be more like Jesus, that our lives will be more like you. Now, Father, I pray you bless and minister, and I pray you impact our lives for your glory and your honor. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 
thank you for your time. God bless you. Hope to see you at Destiny if you're around the Tazewell, Virginia area. Come in and see us at 9 or 11. Thank you so very much. God bless you.